before the da 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 comes back? You think it's em a bit empty? FACE ME! When you learn, you only memory is you against me! Should've seen this coming, but I thought that you were bluffing, now I'm fucked and I'm done turning nothing into something! for me? I'd love to. Oh, okay, okay. Is it rolling? Okay. Let's see if he has my advantage. He does what I tell him to do. He's gonna work my pedals now. He's my bitch. <laughs> do our lyrics a little different than than most bands or at least I think different than most bands um, we it's kind of a group effort between the four of us and will our producer who's done rising Sun anonymous the landmine single so then this is our fourth fourth time working with him so he's kind of almost like a member of the band at this point a lot of us will come in with certain topics uh, we come in with what we want to say about them and we kind of present them to each other and we kind of work off each other and and sometimes we just come up with songs completely together like sitting in this room the new god stands for some the people that control the world and are playing god with nature and um you know as there, as there be with our food and water supply our law enforcement our uh banking system uh with the military like with all of it like they are making the decisions that map out our lives. I collaborated with Jesse from Stick to Your Guns on that, and uh, came in with this song and uh, and brought it with the boys, and, and we all kind of made it our own thing. Sometimes we just come up with songs completely together, like sitting in this room, which we've which we've done on this album. Like uh, I think the song uh, "Die Pig" was a song that we all collectively wrote together. Lately, in our scene and you know underground music, there's been a lot of artists, mostly male taking advantage of the platform that they have and using it to um, lure younger girls into sleeping with them or sending them pictures, straight up pedophile shit. It's such an ongoing thing in our in this community that we have that we needed to write about it. We wrote a song called uh, Eavesdropper. Um, it's about how uh, the NSA can... Um, have microphones and in your home on your phone they can pretty much check in on anything that you're doing it's only gonna get worse and we felt that it was a topic that we needed to talk about um, I think it came out really cool it's kind of like a uh, there's a lot of attitude on it the way we spun it so um, yeah I went into the studio in New Jersey on a day off on this tour um, yeah, invited to record vocals on Eavesdropper. Uh, love the track, love the sentiment behind it. Um, I mean, obviously, Stray and Shikari share a lot of uh, similarities in the things we speak about, the topics we approach, uh, and talking about that sort of Orwellian world that we're living in and the lack of uh, privacy and things like that. It was, um, yeah, I found that really interesting. So it was a Absolute honor to be on it. Um, it was a lot of fun hanging out at the studio, and it's been a lot of fun hanging out on tour. I, just, I really like the uh, the approach that we took for writing the song Snap, and uh, I thought it was cool that it, 
the whole topic started with just one word being snap. One of the guys was talking about the movie falling down. I think Tom brought it up and uh, the dude just flips out one day and just doesn't want to take the shit anymore that he's dealing with at work and whatever else is going on in his life. That's just driving him off the deep end. And they realized, fuck, I kind of missed out on a lot or I just missed out on something like there's something deep inside me that like really just wants something else in life and uh, it can really cause you to snap. Everyone knows that a lot has developed in the law enforcement civilian relationship and a lot of people have died um, and a lot of people have been incarcerated um, and very few cops have been indicted for it. I wanted to personally write another one. I, I wasn't sure how the band was going to feel about it. Um, I wasn't sure how Will was going to feel about it. I wasn't sure how Samarian was going to uh, feel about it because I just didn't want to sound like a broken record and I didn't want it to be like, oh, we're writing another cop song because our last one was big and, and I didn't want it to come off of, you know, ungenuine or, or, or any of that. But I f it still had to be said. And I think with the lyrics... Um, Everyone kind of got on board with it, and I think everyone does know that, that a lot more needs to be said on the subject. I'm Sam from Architects, and I'm talking about Straight From The Path, uh, because I sing on their new song, First World Problem Child. Um, I first got the song a few months back, and Tom uh, sent me over three songs, and uh, I was instantly hooked, but this first one stood out for me, just like how aggressive it is at the start with Drew just fucking jumping in and uh, yeah, it, it, it's easily my favorite Stray song I've ever done. Um, so it was a real pleasure to be asked to, to sing on this one. Um, but if I'm completely honest, they've asked me to sing on the one before and the one before that. And for some reasons, definitely not because I'm really lazy and didn't figure it out. Uh, it hasn't happened until now. But that being said, uh, I'm really happy that it has worked out this way because uh, I think this is their best record, and I think that this is one of their best songs, so to be on it is, is, is really fucking cool. Most people can tell we're definitely a hip-hop influence band. Tom brought up this group called World's Fair, and I'm glad he showed us because I think it's awesome. One of the dudes in the group, his name's Cody Beware, we asked him if he would be interested in being in this song. Cody Beware, World's Fair. Straight from the path, it's laid down uh, 2015, Queens, Long Island connection, we're doing this shit for real, I can't wait for y'all to hear this shit, this shit's gonna be crazy.